um, in addition to your chords, you tune, you've tuned your electric guitar down and you've got a D minor shape, you've got a C major shape, and you've got a B flat shape, all related to the capo. So, okay, so all you have to do is, or you could just play a triad right there. Okay. And then, and then, what are the chords to the rest of the song? It's got a G, right? Yeah. So at the end of the second verse, there's an A minor, and oh. then the chorus goes G, E minor, D, A minor. Okay. So we've got this uh, A minor at the end of the chorus, which is like this. This is going to be a bar chord. Okay. It's going to be a G. Uh, like a G minor bar chord. Okay. Okay. So just a simple G G minor bar chord. Again, all related to the capo right there. So you've got D minor, C, B flat, G minor. Okay. And then your chorus was what did you say again? G. G. And oh, then E minor. G and then, and then E minor. D. G E minor yeah. and then D. So so then it goes G E minor and D. So that's an F and then a D minor. Right. And then to a C. Okay. So F D minor. And then a C, okay. So, but really, watch this. This is what's really cool. Is like if you if you just have your guitar like tuned down, and it may sound kind of weird, like tuned down like this with the capo on it and all that stuff. And really, you don't technically have to tune it down. But I just I'm trying to keep everything consistent for you. Mm -hmm. But but if you if you play those chords like with some reverb on them, and just just m throw the mic in front of your amp you know, and just record it like that, it, it'll sound really cool and add something to, especially, you, you might want to do it when the chorus comes in. Okay, and you can play either that or a bar uh, F, you know, or this F, or an F sus two would sound really big. Okay, so again, Sorry about that. I don't want to. I don't want to confuse you on all the theory no, of, of things. It's just, it's uh, at least we know like the relative minor of G is E minor, and that's really what you're doing. You're you're really focusing on that E minor position of the song. And then what would be really cool as a guitar player, I want you to to learn how to play lead stuff and to make up melodies you don't really have to do anything that crazy to add like just this little melodic part to the song mm -hmm. um and i can show you within that key what you could do and uh all you have to do is just a couple of little parts and it would just add something to your song so you got great vocals you got great rhythm guitar stuff so it's like well how am i going to make each of these stand out and be a little bit different. So that's where I want you to start memorizing at least the major scale, okay? We've talked about this before in the past and it's easy to get kind of sidetracked and you're like, well, I'm not playing lead. Right. But, you know, it's you gotta know it because it's, it's so helpful for like, knowing the fretboard, knowing where everything is, you know, and playing any of this lead stuff on the guitar. So, so in this, in this case, this is a great song because we're going to play the G major scale. This is weird because it's a song in E minor, right? But you're like, so why does the G major scale work with this? Well, just trust me, it does because E minor and G major are related, right? So when you play these notes in there, you can make up a cool melody. So what I would encourage you to do is to play, play this, and this is on the video, 
just the G major scale. And we're gonna start it in one position. It's gonna go right here, G, A, B, C, D, E. Now, did you notice they're the same position mm -hmm. on the neck? Like three, five, seven, three, five, seven, okay? Now we're gonna come over here to F sharp, F sharp, okay? And that's the seventh, and then we go, so when I say that's a seven, that's a seven interval. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Octave, G, G, okay? Okay, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Now it starts over. G, A, B, C, D. G, A, B, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Those, those two strings are the same, look at that. Okay, that's fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Then we come over here, okay, for our last two strings. Okay, and that's an E, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. That's it. These two strings are the same, look at that. Five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. So, you can play those. Or, so what's cool is that sounds real major, right? When I'm playing it. Mm -hmm. But if I play it over an E minor, it sounds minor. Why? Because it's the that that those that E minor and G are related. So you can pull you can play that scale and make up a melody da, 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 da. there you go so 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 I want you to remember that's the first degree of the G major scale. And so if you start memorizing that so that you can play scales, then that's going to make some light bulbs go off as to where you can voice things in different places um, and chords that are inside of these scales and shapes and everything too. So it's a lot there. But I've given you a couple of things that you can do to add some difference to your songs to make the songs like, oh, cool, I'll put a little bit of electric in there. Maybe maybe you don't put any electric. Maybe you just put another acoustic in there and it's just strumming uh, like eighth notes, you know, mm -hmm. playing that. Like you're playing and it's like, so it's like, Nice and soft. See, I'm just using some of those notes from that scale. Okay, so uh, there's just, there's a lot of cool things you can start to explore with these songs. So. You, I'm trying to use the songs as like a, a teacher.